So here I am in Botany Bay. I've just anchored up in about three and a half metres of water. I'm using two different rigs. One is where a ball sinker runs down onto the top of the bait. And the other is a ball sinker runs down onto a swivel. And then I have a leader of around about a metre, maybe sometimes a 1.2, 1.3 metres. And all I've done is I've just got a prawn and I've peeled it and I've put it on to an owner size 1 or 1.0 one circle. While I've done that, I've then cast it out and then I've put the two rigs to see which one the fish are going to like. So sometimes I like the ball sinker down on the hook or the bait and sometimes I like the one with the long leader. I'm then going to burly, and I burly with chicken pellets. You can use a lot of other burly, but I prefer to use chicken pellets, they're nice and dry. Just throw out a handful here, just a handful that side, say every five minutes. Check your baits after about five or so minutes more. And then recast again. after about 10 to 15 minutes you haven't had a bite what I do is I move and I'll most probably move maybe a little bit closer in I might move into about three meters that doesn't work right? I might then move twice the distance out to about four meters just to see whether I can find the fish whether I can burn him up to the back of the boat so it's just a matter of waiting now and seeing what happens Okay, so I've moved in to 2.2 metres. Seems to be a bit more bait fish here. And I think I've just got to look up. Ready. Snapper. It's only a small little one. We do get some bigger ones in the bay. If it becomes to a point where we're catching a lot of these, I'm moving in. Okay, I'll move to the third spot. Five, 5.6 metres now. What I've got on, it's a bit, uh, a bit sluggish, it's, I don't think it's a grim. I'm going to get the net, just in case. We have a little ray, taking the bait right down. All I do is I go over the side. up in another spot, spot number five, get a few fish now. So I have three rods out, pill prawns on each, gone down to a double O ball sinker. Here we have nice little brim, nice brim. 
should be legal to about 26, 27. I'm just going to pick the other one up, get on the other rod. And for this one, we're going to need the net. Perfect little hook up with these. Look at that, right in the corner of the mouth. Nice little brim again. Got a bit of a mess here, but hey, they got three. Looked up to a nice brim. Yeah. Now that's what we call a very nice delafid brim. Hold on the flats. Oh yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. The tight's nearly down at the bottom. I suppose about another three quarters of an hour. The fish has started to come on the tube. Plenty of burly going out. I was going to move, but I've now caught two fish in less than five minutes. Well, I've got to get this one in. The way it's playing up, I think it's supposed to be a king, uh, king a trevally. There you have, nice little trevally, legal size, they're 30 centimetres in New South Wales, it'll be about 32. You can see that I'm not panicking at all, grab up the hell of the ride, make sure I get one out again, put it in the rod holder. These little LRF rods with these Akuma Seaboat reels are absolutely brilliant. It's what I use when I'm fishing for trevally and flathead and 
ram of that off the flats. And now yeah, here I am just bait fishing with them. Right. Another fish. Hook all the way down. Do not, I stress, do not put finger or thumb in mouth of brim. It hurts. Ow! and bay fishing especially is what they forget to do when, when they get excited right, is to keep the burley trail going so I've got here pellets have been soaked in the water for a while they spread out a lot better when the tide's not running as fast Hi, just thought I'd go through the two outfits that I'm using here when I go out fishing, bait fishing in the estuaries and you can use this both out of a boat or you can use it off the shore. These are 7 foot Akuma flexi tip two piece rods. The flexi tip part is up here which is a solid fiberglass, right? gives you that little bit of extra feel right? and it also gives you the ability to be able to when the fish takes off to hook it because what it does is it recalls back right, and it will set that owner hook that we talked about earlier. So in this case on here what I've done is I've put on here the SEMA size 40 Akuma bait feeder reel. Bait feeder reel is designed to have the drag here and then you have a secondary drag at the back which then the fish can take it off Right, without much feel to it, and then what I do rather than take the rod out of the rod holder, right, and yes, we have a few cockies in, in our backyard, uh, hopefully, they're not going to get me lemons. I'll put a net over the top. And what happens is that when the fish takes off, I leave it in the rod in the rod holder, and what I do is I just push that over. And what happens then is it engages the drag and then the fish gets hooked in either the side of the mouth or the corner of the mouth, that edge, that hinged edge, or it'll be gut hooked and then you can reel them in. So that's one. And the other one, what I have is that I have a little size 30 from memory. Yeah, size 30, a little... Uh, Kuma Xperia reel, right? it's just a standard thread line reel. Right. This is a great little outfit. On this one, obviously, I don't have anything rigged up. Right, to have the drag set, and once again, sit in the rod holder, either have the ball sinker running down onto the bait, or the ball sinker running down onto the swivel or the long leader. Sit back, wait for your bite. So the next time you're in one of your local shops, see if you can have a look at the Akuma flexi tip rods, which they have a great range. Right, the Xperia size 30 reels from Akuma, or the bait feeder reels. In this case, the size 40. So have a look at the next time you're in. If not, go to the website, go to tacklecactics.com.au, and have a browse, download the um, Akuma website, and go through and have a look at their gear. Right key.